Teaching your puppy to come when called is one of the most important behaviors you can teach your dog. Having a dog who can be trusted off leash and come reliably just makes life with a dog much more enjoyable. The easiest way to teach this is by, by using a food item to lure a dog over. So it starts off very simply, come. Yes, good boy, Dexter. So Dexter gets rewarded for coming toward me. He doesn't have to come from far away. He doesn't have to come off leash. He's only been on the planet Earth for 12 weeks. I can't ask him to join the doctorate program just yet. He has to stay within his grade level. So he's a baby, we're taking baby steps, all right? While he finishes that, let me also make a point. When you are using food, use tiny, tiny pieces. You can use a dog's kibble, uh, or you can cut up small pieces of cheese. This is dehydrated lamb lung. They also sell liver and things like that that are really high value to a dog. When you do use them, don't keep them in a Ziploc bag and don't keep them someplace where it's gonna make a lot of noise or be really super obvious to a dog. I tend to have a little treat pouch like this that I can keep behind my back so the dog can't see what I'm doing, all right? It's not about the food, it's about the command. So when I'm asking him, Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. So I'm moving away from him a tiny bit, giving him the command, and at this age, he's just happy to come over to me no matter what it is I'm saying or I'm doing. So we're conditioning a response from him when I use that command. So a conditioned response, a good example of that is if you are at a meeting and everybody has a phone, their cell phone out and it's on the table and one vibrates, everybody checks their phone. Your phone is a really reliable and consistent trainer, so you need to be the same way. You give him the command, he gives you the response, you give him the reward, okay? When he does it, I'm picking one sound that tells him he's doing the right thing. I'm gonna say yes, okay? Now, I like to say yes instead of good boy because we tell dogs good boy for just about everything, all right? He walks into the room, he's cute, good boy. You wanna make sure that you're using a specific sound that says he's accomplished a task and is earning a reward, okay? So I'm gonna say, Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. All right, we're gonna do one more and then I'm gonna see if he can handle it being off leash, okay? Now being off leash in an enclosed area that's very much under my control, I'm not that concerned about. I wouldn't necessarily start this at the dog park. I wouldn't start this someplace where the, the distraction is way over what he's capable of. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. All right. So you notice I'm saying yes, then good boy. I don't mind that so much. You just want to make sure that yes is first. He knows that yes means I get the reward. Okay. Dexter, come. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. So you can even, from further and further away, you can also give the dog an encouragement. So they look at you and you immediately, yeah, yeah, right, get excited, make a loud noise, high-pitched noises, get excited for him. Let him know that he's doing the right thing. Dexter, come. Yes, good boy. All right, so he's getting the hang of it now. He knows it more and more uh, that he's getting rewarded for this behavior. Dexter, come. Good boy. Now, big mistakes people make is they'll call the dog over for punishment, even if it's on by mistake. You're at the dog park, come. The dog doesn't listen to you, come, come, come. You're repeating yourself, which is teaching the dog how to ignore you. They finally come and you leave the park. Something that didn't work out very well for the dog, the dog will stop listening to you. Dogs will only do what works for dogs, all right? This is a quick, easy exercise. You can practice this before every meal, two or three times a day for a few minutes at a time, and you'll start getting more and more reliability out of your dog. And that's how you teach your puppy how to come and call.